into its second century, but still one of the best around. Fenway Park here in Boston. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Baltimore Orioles and the Red Sox. Hi again, everybody. It's finally here. Welcome to our special opening day edition of Baseball on the Show. Joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Blazak, the staff for these two teams sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. Just like any team, pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but if they can pitch like they can, I think this team is going to be pretty successful. Chris Sale gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What's your take on him, Dan? This ought to be interesting to see how this guy bounces back from last year when he had an ERA over four. I know his team is expecting better things from him this year. And we'll see if he can continue to get a little bit better, limit the number of walks, and also limit the number of hits per nine innings. Jemai Jones is in to start things off here as he looks at a cold strike. It's nothing in one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. Now to the plate, here is Austin Haynes. First offering on its way. Sale has pitched his way to over 1,600 innings of work at the big league level and with an ERA just hovering around the 3.00 benchmark. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. Ready with another 0-2. Slow little roller to third. Devers has it. And there's out number two. Now it'll be Ryan Mountcastle. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Ryan Mountcastle. Sale gets the sign. Here's the delivery. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. This is a perfect time for him to break out that nasty changeup. Great arm action on it and bury something in the dirt, try and get a swing and a miss. Rounded slowly to the left side. Fielded cleanly. And a close one at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Goes zero. The Sox coming to the plate. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Out of the plate, Trey Mancini. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it right there. Three fastballs in a row. He gone. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on six pitches? 
He isn't messing is around, good. and these last two the batters have had no answer down for down. what he's throwing up there. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Valaika is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. The beat goes on. That's number eight. Hot shot to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. We go to the bottom of the second, and no score. Anthony Santander, the next to bat, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. A little bouncer that rolls foul for strike one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got nope, feel for ball. all his pitches. One ball, one, one. one strike to count. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swings through it for strike number two. Good back-to-back -back sliders right there. That just tells me that he feels really good about his breaking ball. And if he continues to have good command of that hard slider, he should continue to do well in this ball game. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So bases are empty with one out now. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. Chopped weakly to the left. And he fouls this one off. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here as he was expecting another changeup. Swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Sale has his target. Here's the 0-1. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Both half of the third coming up. No score. Leading off the inning, it'll be hey, Jumai Jones, and they could use a spark from him here. Still a big bagel in that hit column, and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Austin Hayes, the next to bat. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the zone. Swing and a liner. And the Orioles have their first hit of the game. That'll bring up Ryan Mountcastle. Popped up. Dahlbeck is there. Two down. Next to stand in is Trey Mancini. Struck out in his first at-bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. From the belt, the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. 
Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding. Okay. Okay. Behind 0-2 yeah, now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hey, shut him down right here. And he stays alive here as he gets a piece of this, and in turn, he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order, and we just saw three in a row. Vasquez over to his right. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. One left for the Orioles. Striding in is Rio Ruiz, and he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0-1. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, the bottom fell out of it. Popped him up. I got it. Bump, bump. Gonzalez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good no about his fastball. Two back-to-back. Back. Behind 0-2 now. Hey, we got one. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? That good straight changeup, El Cambio. No, There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that Anthony. arm speed, and the ball Aye. it just doesn't get there. Anthony Santander is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here. Oh, He's in control 0-2. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little up, bit up, up, more up. uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. Sale is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Digging in, the switch hitter, Freddie Galvis, will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly hey. aggressive on the heater in the middle of the plate early. Galvis behind 0-2. Hey, Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Yeah, he's got hey, these hitters got in no the proverbial one. rocking chair right here, pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Hernandez stay with it as he backs up and puts it away one gone next to hit is Pedro Severino comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game and he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike Severino a native of the Dominican Republic he's a veteran of seven years at the major league level comes back with a good change up there and it's quickly 0 and 2. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get knocked. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Pedro Severino goes down for out number two in the top half. To the plate now, Jumai Jones. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. 0-1, here's the pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They still find themselves down 6-0. set for the start of the inning and next to bat will be the outfielder Austin Hayes fastball in there for a called strike hey there's an old saying in baseball you need to take a strike in this spot well he got one there now he just needs to find a way to get on 
A late swing on the slider, and quickly it's 0-2. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Austin Hayes is retired to start out the seventh. Ryan Mountcastle is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Shot, they didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. On the first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Show track is going to give us a better look at that play. You usually don't see third baseman show off a lot of range, but he certainly did there. And to complete the play, uncork a good hard throw across the first for the out. Nice play all around from the hot corner. Trey Mancini and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all on the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. Sale has his target. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Stepping up is Rio Ruiz. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, That He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. And he watches a cold strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Please that one now. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. Boy, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there and see you later. So now to the plate, Pat Valaika. Fouled off. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The next 0-2. Just one hit and three errors for these guys so far this afternoon. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Welcome to the So now here is Anthony Santander. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Even though we're late into this ballgame, this guy's deal is still top notch. This guy's a horse. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. The count, 0-2. Now the pitch. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're down nine to nothing. So stepping in is Freddie Galvis, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. To first, scooped up. And he'll step on first himself for the out.
Next to hit, Pedro Severino. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. No hitter is ever going to feel good about taking the hat trick with three strikeouts in a game, but I will say he's not the first guy to have a terrible game against my man on the mound. And you know what? He won't be the last. We all know he's one of the best in the business for a reason. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and no they're ball. up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Baltimore down to their final strike. Not in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. And it's fouled away. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game.